Colin Kaepernick sparked a movement across the country when deciding to protest by taking a knee during the national anthem before his NFL football games. Griffin Middle School football coach Brett Stanley, his staff, and a select few of his players decided to participate in the protest by taking a knee during their Deer Lake matchup football game. Stanley refused to take any more interviews but agreed to submit a statement. In the statement, he says, as an African-American and mentor in the setting that I'm in, I feel as if it's my duty to equip them as much knowledge as possible that would help their future. So, yes, I believe it was effective, and from the reaction of community and numerous other leaders around the world, it brought awareness directly here in Tallahassee. And Coach isn't the only one who decided to take a stand. Senior broadcast journalism student and volleyball player Deja Martin decided to no longer stand for the national anthem, but kneel for both away and home games. The whole Kaepernick situation, it was like, I saw him do it and I was thinking, I can do that. Like, I'm not going to get shot for doing that. I'm not going to get beat up for doing that. The worst thing that could happen is I could lose my scholarship and I'm at an HBCU, so I don't think that's going to happen. So, you know, I took a knee because I feel like this is my safe way of doing what I feel is right. Florida State volleyball player Mara Green also decided to take a knee during the national anthem at her volleyball games. Where I'm really passionate about um, social injustice and what's going on in America. Not only police brutality even, but you know, just social injustice period. So um, whenever I saw Colin Kaepernick take the knee in his preseason games, I thought that, that was a perfect opportunity for me to display how I'm feeling. In Tallahassee alone, the Kaepernick effect continues to grow on the field, on the volleyball court, and in the stands.